The opening speaker on the third day of our 31st General Convention was Tom Buffenbarger, International President of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers. They would like to separate us from the things we have earned, such as pensions, such as health care, such as an eight-hour workday, the right to have a union. We're not going to give it up. And I ask you to join us in that fight to hold sanity, to hold safe to the values we have earned. District Council 78, our Florida hosts, and the Disney staff presented a commemorative gift to General President Rigmaiden. <laughs> General Vice President-at-Large James Williams, Jr. followed, addressing how IUPAT will meet the goal of 30,000 additional members over the next five years. Each department is measured by one simple criteria. How does that program help us grow? Organizing is not a department of the union. Organizing is the mission of the union. The General President's Achievement Award for an unwavering commitment to organizing was then presented to District Council 36. General President Rigmaiden then spoke to the importance of PATCH, the Painters and Allied Trades for Children's Hope program. We've raised over $1.6 million <laughs> for the benefit of children in need across America. The General President's Achievement Award for the Patch Program was then presented to District Council 77. Delegates then heard from Fred Myers, Executive Director of the Union Sportsmen's Alliance, the only union-operated, union-dedicated sportsman and conservation organization. This young organization has come a long way in a very short period of time, thanks to the wisdom and the foresight and the commitment of unions just like yours. And then today, the Union Sportsman's Alliance has over 250,000 members. General Vice President Harry Zell then focused the goals we all need to support as we move forward. I challenge you to embrace the opportunities that will come your way. Embrace change, technology, become trained, and seek out these third-party verifications. The afternoon was kicked off by Walter Wise, General President of the International Association of Bridge, Structural, Ornamental, and Reinforcing Iron Workers. We've had everything thrown at us by corporate powers, the government, ALEC, the increasingly radical right, and bloated billionaires. But you were not idle. We were not idle. We plan for the future. We are better prepared to seize the opportunities before us than at any time in my memory. Next, General Vice President William Candelori spoke bluntly about the roadmap ahead that we all must follow. Everything today that we do has to and must complement organizing. It has to. Wrap your heads around it. Get on those job sites. Engage the workers that are out there. Go find the people. The day's activities closed with the announcement of delegate support for one of our needy brothers from District Council 78. Wally, the delegates here heard you. They heard the appeal and they dug deep and really have done something here. That's amazing. A total of $8,922. The General Executive Board is gonna match that. And day four starts now.